Hello and welcome to the Kendra's Card Challenge 11 September giveaway video hop. Members of the video design team are sharing the card making process made with the Challenge 11 sketches using products from some of our prize super sponsors. Today I'm featuring products from Crafty Meraki. There will be a giveaway prize for this video hop where you can have a chance to win a digital download from me. This download is the bonus printable available to all of my all access and VIP patrons. It is a six by six one sheet wonder file, which includes a cutting guide, card sketches, plus 140 sentiments in circles and strips for a variety of occasions. I'll share more about how to enter here in just a bit. If you're new to my channel and not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, I provide a free PDF printable each quarter that includes cutting guides and card sketches along with instructions where you can make 15 cards using six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. You can have a chance to win lots of prizes by sharing your creations throughout the quarter. Now this challenge runs from July 1st to September 30th of 2023 and there are 20 company prize sponsors this quarter with over $1,000 worth of prizes that are given away. You can download the free printable over on my website, kendrascardchallenges.com. I invite you to watch my introduction video that explains all about the challenge in a little more detail and how to enter. Plus, it shows how to cut the papers along with other tips on how to get started. This video is linked above and in the description box below. Now, as mentioned before, the super sponsor that I'm featuring in my video today is Crafty Meraki, and I will be using these two pattern paper pads. These are six by eight and a half inch pads, and they have 12 patterns, two of each with 24 sheets total. This one on the left is called For the Love of Flowers, and I have selected five patterns here. One is a yellow ombre pattern, but the rest are the same floral patterns, but with different colored backgrounds. So to decorate this first card, I'm also going to be using images from the Little Green Thumbs Effortless Artistry Paper Collection. And, I, and I'm going to call them EAPs for short. But if you're not familiar with these, they are the same images that come in the stamp set with the same name, but they have been colored by a few members of the Crafty Meraki design team. And they are just ready to be cut out with the coordinating dies to make quick cards. This other paper pad is called Lux Plaid, and I figured I would use both paper pads and show two different orientations of card sketch number five. I don't have many papers left in this pad, but I have some scraps, so I can cut five different colors of this checkered pattern here. And I'm going to cut these into one inch by four and a quarter inch strips. Now for this second card, I'm going to be using the birds from the Sweet Tweets EAP collection. Just like the other EAP set, it includes a lot of images and sentiments along with coordinating dies to cut the images out. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out the page with birds that are colored in yellow and purple to match a few of the checkered papers that I've selected. And then for the other floral card, I'm going to be using the little girl image where her dress is colored in different pastel colors that are closest to the colors used in those floral papers. But I'll have a link to the Crafty Meraki online store in the description box below in case you'd like to purchase any of the items that you see here. Now, this is an affiliate link, which means I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Purchases made using my links help to support my work and help to keep my challenges free each quarter. Now, since I've never used either one of these sets, I'm going to use my metal cutting snips to cut these dies apart off camera. And I'll go ahead and tape these dies down on top of both of these sheets. And this is my printable here. And these are the first six sketches. And I'm using sketch number five. And since this shows a scalloped rectangle, I'm using this stitched scalloped rectangle die here that I have in my stash to cut out two white rectangles to build my scenes for the centers of the cards. And here's a look at the papers with all of the dies taped down using low tack purple tape. When I was cutting apart the dies for the little green thumbs, the die for the little garden tool flung across the room and I have no clue where it landed. So this won't be cut out, but I hope I find it eventually. This is not the first time that this has happened though. And believe it or not, I was using a magnetic bowl, but I guess it wasn't strong enough. But I went ahead and cut out all of these images to use for future cards. They'll be ready to go, but I'm gonna run these through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to make sure that I'm really careful not to move these too much so that the dies don't shift. And I also already cut my one inch strips from both sets 
of paper. After running these through the die cutting machine, I popped out all of the images and tried my best to keep the metal cutting dies taped down so that I can use this as a template and just place another sheet of images behind it and then I can run it through my machine again so I don't have to keep taping the dies down to each sheet. This is a huge time saver and it's an awesome tip if you'd like to make cards in bulk like I do. Now I have all of these images cut out and in separate piles. So I'm making my card bases out of white heavyweight cardstock and I'm scoring both halves of a sheet of paper at four and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna make these cards with one being portrait and the other being landscape. Next, I glued down my strips for both cards. Now, while, while I assemble these cards, I'll share a few things about the challenge in case you're not aware. As mentioned earlier, the quarterly challenge printable can be downloaded for free at kendrascardchallenges.com during the quarter. Once the quarter ends, a new challenge will be posted and challenge 11 will be archived. So if you're watching this video after September 30th of 2023, you will only be able to download the current challenge. Now to have access to download archive challenges, you can join as a patron starting at just $5 a month. You will get access to download all archive challenges one through 11. That's over 150 sketches for only $5. I will have the link to my Patreon page in the description box below. If you don't want to join as a patron, you can purchase the Archive Challenge printables individually at my Spring store, which I will also have linked below. You can play along and enter to win prizes for Challenge 11 through September 30th of 2023. So there's still time to make 15 cards and get them uploaded to the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group to enter to win. A new challenge will be posted October 1st. Now for each challenge, you can enter up to three times, but only once per month. There are monthly prizes and quarterly prizes donated by our awesome prize sponsors that are given away after each month ends. You can see a complete list of prizes and links to our prize sponsors pages at kendrascardchallenges.com. As for this giveaway, for the September Super Sponsor Video Hop, you'll need to complete the Google form linked in the description box after you've watched all of the videos in the hop. You'll need to do this by September 12th. We'd love it if you would like and comment at each of the stops along the way. And the winner will be announced on my page, Cards by Kendra, on my YouTube channel under the Community tab. And this will be after September 12th. So the link to the next video in the hop is down below. You can also use the hashtag KCC11 SEPT Super Sponsor to find all of the videos in this hop. I'd like to invite you to join in on the challenge. It really is a lot of fun. Plus we have a wonderful craft community over in the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. So I hope you'll join us. You'll have to agree to the group rules before you can join, but in this group, you'll find lots of card making inspiration. Here are my finished cards. I think these turned out so cute. I hope you were inspired and I hope you'll check out the other creations by the video team members in this hop. They are super talented and they always have some helpful tips to share. I really appreciate you watching. I can't wait to see what you create and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.